Hello everyone, William here, and I'm going to show you today how to make a supply item. So, first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to create a new folder, which I'm going to call YouTube. Now, I'm going to go here in items, in the core master bundle, which we get from the example package. I'm going to go into supply section, I'll show this folder, and I'll just copy it. Now... We want to stay in here because we cannot paste folders in Unity. Now we place this here. Now I'm gonna rename this to TP. You'll see why in a minute. Um. Now what we have here is one single prefab of the money bill. Um. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change the model. The material and we're gonna recalculate the bounds of it now what we want to do is in this folder I'm gonna import my stuff now keep in mind that a dot blend file works the same way as an FBX so you do not have to export if you don't have anything special in it so if you have animations or anything you need to export as an FBX but if it's just a model with nothing special on it, you can just use a dot blend file. It works the same way, saves sometimes. Now, once we, we have the texture here, which as you can see here, it's kind of like shared between the two colors, and we don't want that. So, now let's change the settings here. So, we can check that it's not needed, but you can do in if you have a transparency on the texture. Now we want to enable read write enable. Now we want to go down here. We want to change the wrap mode to clamp. We want to change the NSO level to 16. And then now we want to change the filter mode to points. Now make sure you change the NSO level first or you won't be able to change it. Now we can apply, see. Uh, now, if we keep going down, we can change the Mac in here, change to 1024, and then we can change the compression to none, and then we can click apply. Now, the material here didn't change on this, but it changed on that, and now it looks all nice, which is what we're looking for. And we can, um, now, what we want to do here is if you want to edit some settings here like the metallicness or the smoothness as you can see here I can there's nothing I can do with these or change anything else if you want to change that because you need you can do it in blender if you want like I did but if you don't know how to do that what you can do is when you have the blend file you select it and go you should be on somewhere on this Maybe it should be on this by default. You want to change to materials. Now you can change the location here to instead of use embed material and use external materials now. Now I'm not gonna click it because it's gonna move the material in another folder, but then you'll be able to edit it. So you wanna do that and then apply, but I won't because it's uh, it's not necessary for me. Now what I'm gonna do is Select the prefab here, see? I go back in this folder. I'm gonna drag the cylinder, not in here, because now it's just gonna create an ugly ass cylinder in here. Now I select the item, the cylinder, and I drag it in the mesh filter right here where it says model zero. You need a mesh. So you need to drag this. Because if I try dragging this, see it won't work because it's not a mesh. Now see it looks like gold because it's, it still has a texture of the hundred dollar bill. Now we select the material and we drag it right over here. Now it's all nice, as you can see. Now what we do here is we go down to lot group, see the box here, and then boom, we recalculate and now see the box change, which means we did what we needed. Now see a lot works better. Now I want to change the box collider. Just keep in mind here in the size if we want. You cannot go down lower than 0 0.2, otherwise it will just fall through the ground of the map. 
Now we can go, we can use the S X axis here. Make sure you press the box so you're in um here. See, there's the three lines here are connected here, but not here. Now if we press the thing, it's just they're all on the same level. We want to make sure you're like this. So now stuff looks a bit weirder, but now it's the isometric view. So now you're you're it's sure you you don't see things properly. Now we click on the headed collider here. And we can just drag it up like this. Now, see if I move this, it's it shall be fine. Now we want to keep an eye here on the size to make sure none of these numbers go below 0 0.2. Now, as we can see, everything's fine for now. And we change here. We're gonna increase this one. Uh, if we go above, as you can see, it's not a cylinder, but it's fine. But as you can see here, everything's about 0 0.3, so you can just just make change everything to 0 0.3. So it's all nice and everything. Shouldn't change much, but now got a nice quick around it, which is what we're looking for. Now we can exit isometric view by clicking on that to go back in perspective. Now. Everything is set properly, the tags are okay, and the icon up here, now that's what we're looking for now. I can add a camera on it, see what it looks like. See now, right now we're inside of it, which is bad. So we can just take this and go up. Oh, there, now we're above it, which is fine. Uh, as you can see here, we're rotated uh, by 45 degrees. We can, we can change that, we can put it back to zero. It's not going to change much because it's a cylinder, but um, the money bill thing is kind of inclined, so I want to just change it back so it's all nice. But I want to also move it around so it's on the side, but for me it's not needed, so I can just keep it on top of it. Now once you're done, you remove the camera, now you can save. Now everything is ready here, grab the bundle tool, grab the folder, grab Everything is in it. Bundle the TP folder. Now, I'm gonna go in the items folder for unturned here. And then I'm gonna put it in this folder. Now, I go in the folder now, see? It's right over here. See, there's nothing else. Now, I go back in items. I go down in supplies. We can use the money 100 if we want. Go back in items, we can go back in here. Now I want to make a folder which has the same name. So we call it TP. Same name as this, so TP, TP. Now we copy this and we paste and we change the name of this, of which did we paste it to TP as well. So now the folder, the dot that and the Unity 3D have the, all the same name, which is TP. We can go in English here, dot that, we can rename it. Toilet paper. There we go. Very great mod right here. Now we can open this. See, this line here is useless. Delete that. The game's gonna create it for you automatically. Let's change the ID to like this. Hopefully, it's not gonna collide with anything. Now we can have this line exclude from master bundle because we're not using a master bundle. Now that's done. So now it's all it's all good to go. Now you all need to do is start the game, which I'm gonna do in a few seconds. Well make sure you don't forget to add that. I'll put it in the description in case you just want to copy it. Uh, everything's fine in here. See we've got all the info, we got the line, everything is all nice and now what we can do is go here play play on turn now we could just wait until it's done and i'll be back as soon as it's done
Hello everyone, I'm back. So now we've we're done with um loading out the game. So now we can just go in single player. He's at this map and then go on my showcase map. Can I fall for a bit now. Just get on the roof of this building here. Now we can get ourselves the IDs. Now we have the toilet paper here. We can drop it. It looks nice and everything. There you go. This is how you make a supply item. See, now it says common crafting supply. If you want to change the rarity over here, it's pretty simple. Just go back in this file. As you can see now, there's the GUID made by the game. Now we can go back in here. We can go in items. Let's go for barrel, for example. Uh, not. Uh, let's get military suppressor, for example. Change the rarity to epic. We just had rarity epic. We copied the GUID. Now we go in here. We slash reload and we paste the GUID. Now we can drop the toilet paper. Now we can pick it back up, and it says "Epic Crafting Supply." Now, as simple as that. Same thing. If you want to change like the way it looks, for example, if you want to change any of these files which are contained in the in this folder, like if you want to change, for example, the size to make it. 2x2, two two, you do the same thing. Just slash reload, you can drop it and pick it back up. It's all nice. See, the icon looks all weird now, but it's fine. The way to fix that is by reloading the game. Because the icons are baked on the game loading. Let's see. It's as simple as that. And same thing if you do modifications to the Unity 3D file, you can just do the slash reload comment, and then you're gonna be set. I'll see you in the next one.